What's up you guys, it's Caleb here. Today I have a very special video. I am unboxing and reviewing the Serene Life Camera. This thing is super cool because it is a tiny HD 1080p camera. So if we look at the front of the box, it's nothing too exciting. Then on the back of the box, uh, it talks about the features, tech specs. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. Oh, and then here is the clip that I guess we can attach to the back of the camera. And then here is a charger. Now I need to charge this thing up. Let's turn this thing on. And you guys can automatically see what this thing is seeing. Right now it's on video mode. Uh, the screen is kind of bad quality, and then through the lens of the camera it gets a bit worse. Uh, so you guys can't see what uh, what I'm seeing too well. But if we were to uh, press the up button right here, we are automatically taken into picture mode. So uh, not only are you can you do HD video, but you can also do pictures with this camera. And then if we were to press the up button one more time, it it's just uh, about the uh, SD card. And one more time, we get access to the settings. So right now everything seems a bit bright, so I'm gonna change the exposure down a little bit and turn on the anti-shaking. Okay, so I have now put in a micro SD card, so if we were to turn this camera on, there we go, we can now see everything, and finally, record. So right now it is recording in 1080p, if I were to flip this around, so you guys can see me, you guys yeah, nothing, nothing too interesting. Overall, I think this camera is pretty cool. I really like how it's so small, but it can still record okay footage. One thing that's really great about this camera is its price. It is under $50, and that's super affordable for pretty much any of you viewers. So if any of you guys are interested in purchasing this, you, any of you pretty much can, because it's so cheap. Even though the footage on the camera in front of me is 1080p and so much better, this camera is so much larger than this one. I mean, I can't believe the quality that it's shooting at for something this small. And that's the big difference between this camera and its competitors. Although it is not the best quality on the market and it only shoots at 30 frames for 1080p, this, the camera in front of me is also shooting 1080p 30 frames, but it's so much larger. You can't put this thing in your pocket. It's just, that's not how it works. So this one is perfect. This camera is perfect for just capturing memories on the go. It's so skinny, and but it does record decent footage. But also, the audio on this camera is pretty bad. So overall, what I'm trying to say is don't use this as your main camera. Use this as a backup camera. But when it is a backup camera, it is fantastic. I would recommend it as a backup camera to any of you. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like. And also, please type in the comment section what you guys think about this camera right here, because I think it's pretty nifty. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video again, and as always, I will see you guys next time.